everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Samari so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with a few products that I picked up recently these are not necessarily all new beauty products in the industry but just products that I've been picking up randomly over the past few weeks so I went ahead and did my eyebrows already I used the MAC fluid line brow gel cream in the shade Neanderthal it looks like this and I just went ahead and did them already because they are very time consuming and I didn't want to film that whole process for you all. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is start priming my face. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Anti-Aging Smoothing Eye Primer and I'm just putting this under my eye. This is a recent favorite of mine so this isn't new to y'all. And this is going to help make sure that my under eye concealer goes on smoothly and it doesn't crease. And it has really good anti-aging benefits in it. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is their mattifying primer. I think they have like 7 of these and they all have different purposes. Jackie Anna raves about this and I decided to pick it up. Um, because I exchanged my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer because I hated it. I tried so hard to get that to work and like it just wouldn't work. So I exchanged it and I got this. So let's see how this works. Not a big fan of the smell. It smells weird. Um, but I like how it's going on. It kind of reminds me of the consistency of the Benefit Pore Professional um, Matte Primer. So I like that has the same look as the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, but um, this one is not giving me that ashy flat back that the Becca one does, and it's not like flaking up on me, so that's a good sign. For eye primer, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is an oldie. So for an eye base, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Eye Base. This is in the shade Medium Dark, and I picked this up at the Cosmetics Company store. I'm just going to put this all over my eye for an additional base. That matte primer is giving me the flashback now. Holy oh, crap. Okay, that has to go back. It's giving me that ashy flashback. It's not flaking, but it's definitely giving me that ashy flashback, um, which is the reason why I returned that Becca primer. So this, this primer might have to go back. Might have to go back. So for eyes, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. I picked this up at, again, the Cosmetics Company store. And I'm going to first go in with this brown color right here. And I'm just going to sweep that into my crease as a transition color. I'm actually going to put on some tape because I want this to be a really defined look. So right by the corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take this mauve pinky purple color and I'm going to put that into my crease and run it through my outer V as well. These colors are not as pigmented as I would like them to be. Maybe it's just me, but... We'll see. So I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm going to use that as my lead color. I think I want to darken it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to take some of this black and I'm just going to start working that up into my outer V. So this eyeshadow palette did come with a dual ended brush. One of it is one side is angled and the other side is just a flat shader brush. Um, so this eyeshadow palette you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get a total of 14 shadows. You have your neutrals over here and then your dark smoky colors over here. I think it's a very good eyeshadow palette. I think I paid $26 for this palette but again I did get it at the cosmetics company store and so if you don't know that's a discounted makeup store where you can get um, high end products for maybe like a quarter or half the price. So moving on I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. I need to put on my foundation because I am I'm tired of looking at my face being so ashy like I think that's so gross 
that might have to go back. So for my liner, I'm using my Maybelline Line Solo. This is like one of my favorite liners. This isn't new, but it's an old time favorite. So for foundation, I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This is supposed to have full coverage, matte finish, and supposed to be oil free. I am in the shade 9.75. And I bought a set of these like oval brushes that everybody has been using lately. This was a set of five brushes. I believe I got it for $10 on Amazon. I will definitely link it below. So I'm going to be using the biggest brush right here. And I'm just going to be using with this foundation. And hopefully it turns out well because it's the first time I'm using both of these. And I think Urban Decay has switched up their color range because I used to be a 10, but they didn't have a shade 10 in um, Sephora. And I think they made the colors a lot less pink, which I know was a problem for a lot of people. To use this brush, you put like your index finger on like the center of the paddle and then you just start rubbing it in. foundation's a little bit too orange for me holy crap okay full coverage yes wrong shade though this this foundation is running very orange whoa I'm not really liking this brush I just feel like it's just a little bit too big for me um and I feel like it's not doing a very good job at blending I don't know this foundation color is really orange I don't know if it's just me or okay cool i like the feeling of this foundation um it doesn't feel like you have makeup on so that's a good thing it definitely does run orange though so their other foundation run pink and this one run orange so i'm gonna need urban decay to kind of get it together to cover up any dark spots that i have going on my face i'm going to be using the bobby brown Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Almond, and then it comes with a pressed powder right here. Um, picked this up at the cosmetic company store. I believe I paid $30 for this. Not too sure, and I think it retails for higher. I don't know. I will try to find the receipt and try to link it down below. I'm going to be using a fluffy blending brush like this, and I'm just going to dip it into my product and start concealing. For highlighting and contouring, I'm going to be using the Aesthetica Contour Series Cream. I got this off of Amazon. I think I paid $26 for this. So first, I'm going to put some Pure Rose Hip Seed Oil in it, um, just so that it's a little bit more blendable. So. so I'm going to be using this top shade right here to do highlighting and this bottom shade right here to do my contouring. This is the brush I'm going to use for my highlighting shade. I'm just going to mix that oil in it. Get some on my brush and apply this in my eye. Oh wow. Nah. Nah fam. Mm-mm. This is not working. The design definitely makes for getting under your eye like very easily, but I don't think this brush is honestly picking up anything. I'm going to be using a skinnier brush for the contour color. I wasn't a big fan of this, neither the brushes or the contour shade. I just feel like the contour shade, it's not picking up any product at all and I'm like having to go back in multiple times to get the color to build up. Um, the highlight shade is just not doing anything for me, honestly. Yeah. I would skip on this. So I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender with my Fix Plus and then I'm going to start blending out everything that I got going on. To blend out the contour shade, I'm using the Morphe E20 brush just because I don't have another beauty blender and I don't want to get the highlight shade mixed in with the contour shade. To set my under eye, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder. Everyone raves about this on YouTube and I just never got it and so I'm trying it out now. I'm taking it on a like triangle sponge 
I'm just going to pat this under my eye and I'm also going to do in the center of my face where I highlighted on my chin this is getting everywhere This is so attractive. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Powder. I actually did try this already and I really, really like it. It's a very velvety um, powder, which I really do enjoy. And it's actually very full coverage. And I think I paid maybe $3 for this. No, $5 for this at the beauty supply store. The Sasha Buttercup Powder was $20 on Amazon. And you get a lot. How many ounces are you getting? You're getting one ounce and like... That's a lot of powder, like, so this is going to last you a while. The Sasha Buttercup powder might be just, um, a little bit too yellow for me. I'm starting to realize that right now. This is going downhill very fast. I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus because I'm getting, like, that cakey powdery look and I don't want that, so... I don't know how I feel about my face right now. For bronzer, I'm using this bronzer I picked up from the beauty supply store. It's by Clean Color. It's called the Tanned Raw Shimmer Bronzer. And y'all, I have tried this bronzer already, and this is a bomb bronzer for like $2. Like, let me tell you, girl. So I'm taking this on a medium-sized powder brush, and I'm just going to swirl it in my brush. It does take a while to pick up the product, I'm not going to lie. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. Like, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? For blush, I'm using the blush from the Taraji MAC collaboration. This is in the shade Taraji Glow. I hope. I got an email saying that my labels were switched. So I think this is Taraji Glow. And I'm just going to use another powder brush like this, and I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheek. It has like this rosy, corally color, which I really, really like in my blushes because I feel like they're very flattering on um, women of color skin tones. So this um, blush was $33. It's actually a mineralized skin finish, but it's a blush highlight i'm using the same highlight that came in the collection this is in the shade highlight the truth i have to look at both labels to make sure i'm telling you all the right information so this is in the shade highlight the truth it's a very pinky um champagne highlight so that's what it swatches right here let me blend it out highlight just to be a little bit more golden so I'm going to use the wet and wild um, shimmer palette in sangria castles and this highlighter is huge y'all it was five dollars at the um, Walgreens and look at it it's so huge and this is exactly like the Taraji highlight except for it has a little bit more gold on it so I'm just going to apply that right on top for lips I'm going to line my lips first with the Mac plum lip pencil Now that I've lined like the outer line of my lips, I'm going to be using the lipstick from the Taraji collection. This is Strip Me Down. This is a matte lipstick. And it just looks like this. It's a plum pinky pink color. That's how it swatches right here. And I'm just going to put this in the middle of my lips and then kind of create an ombre look. You can get the same look with MAC Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy is honestly just like one shade lighter. So if you can't get your hands on the Taraji lipstick, just use MAC Velvet Teddy. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to line my waterline and then smoke out under my lash line.
For false lashes, I'm going to be using these random lashes that I got from the beauty supply store. Because y'all know, I've been living in the beauty supply store. Y'all just don't know. I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm just going to uh, mascara or put mascara on my lower lashes using the Benefit They're Real Mascara. This is not new. This is an old favorite of mine. Just to add some pizzazz to the look, I added this um, light baby pink color into the corner of my eye. And then I sprayed my face with the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And then I also freshened up my face with the MAC Fix Plus. Um, I absolutely love this look. I think it's so beautiful. It's so sultry and so smoky. Eyelashes, I absolutely loved. My eyebrows are just not like cooperating today. They're just not, they're just, they're not with the winning team. So this is the final look. I absolutely love it. I think it's so gorgeous. It's so perfect for fall, even though like we don't celebrate fall in Florida because it's like summer all year long. But anyway, um, I'm just going to go through really quick and tell y'all what I didn't like, um, what I foresee being problems, what I might get rid of. I absolutely love my eyelashes. That's just one thing for sure. I'm going to go back and get um, a few pair of these. They're really like funky and big and bold and yes, like in your face. So I like that. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation it was a little bit off putting at first but once i blended it into my skin it did become the right shade so i really do like this it is full coverage it does have a matte finish so this i this is this is a win um love the la girl pro face on um, high definition powder love the bronzers these were both uh, really inexpensive I think this was two dollars at the beauty supply store and this was five dollars at the beauty supply store and i think these are both great purchases i would highly recommend these i love absolutely love the collaboration between mac and taraji p henson um the highlight the blush and the lipstick i don't even know where the lipstick is and the lipstick these are all great they're very friendly for women of color um and taraji just did the thing with this like she was like yes i'm gonna make sure all my black ladies are like looked out for so i really appreciate this definitely recommend the wet and wild highlight this was five dollars at walgreens it's huge it's beautiful like you can't go wrong the double exposure palette i really liked i think i would not have paid full price for this palette but because i got it at a discounted price i like it a little bit more because you know your girl loves them sales um i like the fact that you get like a mix of neutral and a mix of smoky um eye looks and so this i would recommend it's not as pigmented as like i would like it to be like i definitely have more pigmented palettes um my Tartlet and Bloom palette is like a great, great alternative for this. Also, the Naked Smoky, really, really great. And those are a lot more pigmented than this palette. I like Sasha Buttercup. Um, I'm just afraid that it might be a little bit too yellow for me. But I'm going to continue to um, use this. And I'll let you guys know how I like it later. This, this was a no. Um... I'd rather just use my LA Girl Pro Concealers than use this. Um, they were just not blendable for me. They weren't picking up on the brush, and I just didn't really like it. So the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, this might have to go back to Sephora. It does keep me matte, but at the same time, I did not like that casty white flashback that it gave. And y'all saw like how terrible that looked, so this might be going back to Sephora. It's too early to tell about the MAC Prep and Prime because I don't know how long um, my eyeshadows are going to keep up, but this is something that I will continually update you all on. And then finally, these brushes, they were okay. Um, I honestly, because they were $10, I'm not really tripping about it. Um, I just bought it because I know everybody was pairing these brushes and then this contour kit together. Um, I could do without both. Let me just say that. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. Sorry it was a very long video, but I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this is the final look. I absolutely love this look. I want to go out later with this look, but I'm on duty, so you know, RA problems. I will leave all the products down below, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye. So I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you check out my last video if you haven't done so. It is my fall fashion collective haul. All my social media accounts are listed. Feel free to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.